Hi guys, so what's up, so I'm finally back up today. Got a really, 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 really um, quick to come out video one too. So go, so JB actually just kinda of get out of maintenance. JB has a lot of stuff going for right now. We have, I'm gonna make two videos for this, cause we do have a new Doka Battle and Chi thing going on right now. It's kinda of like a new mode, kinda of like the OG Battlefield. We got new assets for like Broly, Goku, and stuff like that. Legendary Super Saiyan Broly and Goku. Um, we got lots of new stuff though. Like right now, I'm gonna go over a lot that kind of got announced. I don't want to build essay animation that seems to be wrong like this. So I'm almost like, okay, everything's kind of going on like a bit crazy for JP right now. Because they don't drop like news kind of like this for a long time. Because I mean, you know, for the like, last well, I say week, I haven't done really different about videos. Lots of videos I did, of course, because those are videos I did like way beforehand, like like months and months ago. So yeah, um, I just go on and just go through. So yeah, JP does have the nine point now, um, four point nine point zero update. Ever getting the five point zero soon? I'm joking. Um, we should be seeing that sooner than later. Um, probably, I don't know, like, or like, like that. I mean, for the updates of that, we have, like, a new Dragon Ball chain and stuff like that, of course. Um, we have, that's a new game mode. Of course, we have a new LR, Vegeta, and Nappa, of course. Um, we all kind of speculated this, though, like, in a week we're gonna get an LR. I feel like they are kind of setting up for the same saga at this point, because, honestly, though, um, in my opinion, because they are really setting up for the same saga, because... I mean, for Golden Week, I mean, for the next two days for Friday, we're, we're going to see, we should be seeing Vegeta Leaks. We're probably going to get like a great Ape Goku and probably great Ape, no, great Ape um, Vegeta, but, um, you know, Skyward Vegeta, stuff like that. And we're going to probably get Goku, um, you know, doing this kind of kind of stuff like that. That will be the probably um, a Golden Week stuff, or, you know, the speculation that everybody's going on about for, um, it was for Goku, um, it was, um, Blue Goku, and it swaps into, um, Blue Vegeta, and we're gonna probably have, like, you know, Golden Frieza, because, you know, his story got extended, plus she can't, kind of came back and stuff like that for other Golden Frieza, but yeah, um, I don't know, stuff like that, so yeah, we do get a new Nappa, of course, a new Vegeta, and, um, a, a new Nappa and Vegeta from the Saiyan Saga, that goes into, um, regular Vegeta, so we finally have the exchange mechanic, it is finally back after, what, almost, like, a whole year on JP, and probably global, because they came out around the same time, um, but yeah, we'll go over everything really quick for both these guys, they are really good though i kind of see what, what they did they're pretty solid though i haven't gone like, over them like fully i haven't like i've seen some of the translations like can do they have a new um disposable um like disposable outside category um right here um this is a new category of course on jp right now and it's basically everybody who has been killed basically um let me actually zoom a little bit more um i can actually do it real quick um you know okay that was okay um Right here, it was actually like a new, it's like a disposable um, category. Basically, everybody who's been killed by, um, basically everybody who was killed with their henchmen, basically. Like, you know, Vegeta Blue, you got the Nappa, Goku Black. Uh, I was like, wait a minute, why is Goku Black on a category? Yeah. But no, that kind of makes sense because, you know, um, he has a Masu, essentially, he's a Masu did kill Kawasu. And this Goku Black, yeah, he did kill, like, he, is, he is the one that actually killed Kawasu, like that. So, kind of makes sense, you know. Um, so, yeah. Um, chilled. Who did he kill? I can't remember who chilled who. I'm gonna have Freezer kill Sorbet because uh, Golden Freezer does count on the category. Great, he. I mean, I mean for categories, though, like, this is like a. For Golden Freezer, this is gonna be doing a lot of teams now because, again, like, you know, the category really is short right now. But we know age is gonna be a lot better. Other Freezer getting another category, Full Power Freezer getting another category. That's cool. I had to watch that like, Golden Week and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Uh, new, this Freezer is the new disposable allies category. But yeah, um, Golden Freezer does count as well because, um, in, in Resurrection Net, we got to know, um, Freeza to actually fire a blast at Krillin to hit Krillin, but Vegeta deflected it and hit Sorbet. So that kind of counts. I was like, okay, that kind of counts. Baby counts as well because he did, um, and yeah, he did, I think, yeah, he killed our female. And plus, he did blow away when, um, he was possessed. When he possessed Trunks, Goten, and Vegeta. I oh, know Trunks, Goten, and, yeah, Trunks, Goten, and Gohan. He did blow more away and knocked him out for a good amount of time. Freeza just count. Yeah, this Freeza definitely counts because this is the one he, when he's killing everybody on it. Yeah, when he kills, um, all his allies on Namek when he first blows up, um, the planet Vegeta. Um, yeah, Freeza blew up plenty in five minutes. Um, Broly just counts well because he did kill his dad. Vegeta counts. Dude, who did he? Paragus. Bojack counts because he did push Zanya and killed her. Um, 17 kills, he killed Dr. Mew. Again, Blue just counts because he killed Bobbity. Omega, yeah, he killed, um, Nova. Yeah, he killed a few of his men, I think. Mega Freeza. So yeah, all the Freeza's babies, chills, Goku Bloods are on here as well. So that's kind of cool to see though there. But yeah, this is disposable. Here's the more organized. Yeah, disposable villains. Yeah, basically everybody who's killed the allies. But this Vegeta definitely does count. Um, that kind of makes sense. The category will kind of come on uh, one point or another. This Broly is good because, you know, bring him on category and I'll get category. He's going to be good. All these guys are going to be good. Um, yeah, again, though, the category is really small. Dang, they need some more tech units. But overall, the category for Ant, though, is pretty good because this guy's guy's easy. A. These, all these guys are good. Um, all these guys are good. Um, yeah, like, overall, physical got really good, too, like, Omega, like, Slug, Slug is really underrated, but he's still, it's pretty okay, even ish 
Um, this Vegeta is good. Goku Butt's good. Like, this category really is good, though. Like, low key. Has some, has some really good hidden gems, but, um, again, those probably could just be a better way. It kind of is eh at the moment, because a lot of people are not going to have all these units on here. But overall, the category really will get better with age. We, we've seen it before, like, 500 times before. So, yeah. To get into new LR is the new, um, Nappa, of course. It probably is going to be summable, because, again, though, yeah, because I thought Kelly Clifford did come out exactly at this time last year. So, yeah, technically, now they are a year old. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, they do take story events from the, um, up, like, the, um, Dragon Ball, um, Saiyan Saga story event, so, yeah, he's a tearing the limit unit, of course, um, that's, that's so you can't keep back to the TR version of him, because, you know, he does Doku Wake into Vegeta and Nappa, so, um, yeah, it does take Saiyan stuff. I mean, it doesn't take that much amount, though, which is good, because nowadays they aren't taking as of no, it's usually, like, seven, three, or whatever. So, that's over to Vegeta. They do disposable, um, villains, which is great, keep us four, that's great, that's awesome, disposable villains keep us four. Again, they'll keep the floor really good. Everything got 130. It should have been 150. Maybe we did have a lot of problems out of Carolyn. Um, that X or Extreme, um, keep us four. Extreme types keep us four. Everything got 100%. The Super Attack, the first one, raises the attack, attack units for one turn. Cause the cost of damage to all enemies. Great, another good AOE unit for one turn. Um, did, did the Owen do that? I'm gonna get your all enemies. Oh, yeah, so you can't, yeah, you can't give it to your version because it does do giant storm. I've seen the S animations. They look really good. Um, here there is attack and defense level for one turn, cause the cost of damage to enemy and greater low defense. So yeah, you're basically again the war made for war tournament. So they do attack and defense plus um 78%, keep us five, and HP is seven HP seventy-eight percent or more. Um plus an additional um attack plus seventy-eight because you know oh I was over eight thousand, over nine thousand things, but you know, seven, eight and stuff like that, you know. Typical stuff within the same turn, evading enemy, evading enemy's attack, plus additional attack defense, plus 7,800 on um, pure existing enemy. Um, so yeah, go for Super Battle Road and World Tournament. So, I mean, Super Battle Road, yeah, true Super Battle Road, because all these dreams are now are going to be made for true Super Battle Road, which is good. Um, so yeah, they're basically there. So yeah, he does, um, exchange with Vegeta. Um, again, though, it lowers, like, lowers own attack by 50%, which make, um, makes sense. Um, I guess, like, the active skill, because, like, yeah, Laura's attack. So, I guess, like, the dodging and stuff like that. That makes sense, because Vegeta, y'all, and Nappa's like, hey, dodge. <laughs> dodge. So, Laura's at, um, own attack by 50%, which makes sense. It invades enemies' attack. It's really super tech. For one turn, can be activated from the third turn that starts battle, which is good, though. So, so, he does exchange with Vegeta as well when HP is 50% or less. Turn for the first turn to start from the start of battle. So, his links are Sand Warrior Race, Brutal Beatdown, Tempest Nails, Berserker, Over 9000, Chariot Limit, Lift Your Power. Categories are Crusades, Concerned Fine Cockwords, and Smokeable Villains. Overall, they pretty good stats right there, too, as well. But yeah, like, they really are, like, kind of crazy, though. I mean, just me talking about it isn't enough, but yeah, they are going to be dodging like heck. Um, and they are going to be getting themselves a more attacking defensive problem. So, yeah. So, so, oh, yeah. So, we finally got swap mechanic for Vegeta and stuff like that. That's great. So, for Vegeta, um, that is a slash queen. So, for him, his first attack raises an attack that for one turn causes, uh, oh, it lowers attack. Causes a cost of damage. It lowers attack. Really raises attack and defense for one turn. Um, causes mega cost of damage to enemy and massively lower defense. Um, he recovers 50% um, HP only once. He was three and attack and defense plus 100%. Plus an additional um, he was three and attack and defense plus 18%. If it's one enemy, which makes sense to get by Goku. Plus an additional he was three, um, we're finding it, um, when, um, super class allies, um, effective against all types, um, this key is 24. So he's going to be effective against all types when key is 24. Only way of finding a super class enemy. So which, I mean, because Bardock kind of does that when you're finding an extreme class enemy. Um, his, all his links change are really are a royal lineage and apologies. I'm shocked he didn't get prepared for battle. <laughs> I'm shocked at his speed, he didn't get prepared for battle! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, um, Vegeta really is, like, they really are a disgusting unit, by the way. They really are kind of crazy, um, when you think about it. Because, you know, when they get under, like, their, um, certain thresholds and stuff like that. They're gonna, um, be, I mean, I mean the first part is, like, basically dodging, because again, on that point, they dodge all those attacks. Which is their deck defense is good. Um, mainly we get, um, they're really just there for, like, when your HP gets low enough, so basically, yeah, they are basically made for super, um, not super battle road, but they're made for, hey, shooting super battle road. Hey, hey, hey. So, okay. Sorry, my dog right there was being crazy. Um, but yeah, though, again, though, they are really just made for, like, shooting super battle road and stuff like that, we find you get to put enemies, and this video is good when playing extreme class enemy. Hey. Um, true about enemy and stuff like that, which is kind of good, though, but at the same time, I'm glad, though, we didn't need a new Nappa, because... All these snappers were fodder. They're bad. I oh got the um, video kind of ended there. I don't know. It has the video went out. Um, but yeah, um, I was going to say, Nappa right here, I'm glad though, because we did need a new Nappa. Because this Nappa, I mean, really though? I mean, this Nappa is fodder. Hey. 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 Oh, okay. 
Oops. Um, but yeah, this Nappa right here, he's free to play, but, I mean, ah, uh, um, like, ah, uh, um, this Nappa fodder, this Nappa, it's actually a free to play unit you can't get from the same side of the story event, this Nappa's horrible, he really is horrible. Yeah, this Nappa, ah, uh, I mean, I mean, it's the time of you, some of the lot, everybody should have, like, 500 of these Nappas, I mean, you can't sell them. Um, but yeah, he does have a vulnerable super attack, so he does start as SSR, SSR Nappa. You can't keep the TR version of them again, though, um, which is cool. And again, though, um, they are really made for, because all these units are made for extreme super battle royale nowadays. Um, but yeah, though, I mean, this Nappa is kind of horrible. I mean, you, give him an easy A, give him a, like, I don't think he's, I think he's already TR, though. Maybe he's an SSR, because, like, this Nappa, um, I think, there's a Vegeta counterpart to this Nappa, though. Um, but no, I know, no, he's just called some of the version. I think, because uh, this Nappa is, like, from, I think, the same one as this one, so... Um, like, Dogen Awakening-wise, but, um, I'm gonna think of something else. But yeah, this Nappa is really just good, though. Um, the rest of you guys are just far. This Nappa is okay, but he's only really a support type unit. But I'm glad, though, we barely did need a new Nappa, though. But yeah, again, though, Vegeta is gonna be mainly ready to get the cat. Really good for Extreme Super Battle Road. That's what the units are made for. Like, for example, the new Krillin is good for Extreme Super Battle Road. Um, because, like, overall, though, he's gonna be doing this a lot. And, of course, um... Um, again, the Wizard Gia hits, like, 24 key, he's gonna be doing a lot of damage as well, because, like, all this HP threshold is kind of like LR for itself, like, when your HP gets under a certain threshold, more and more and more, when you find a more, en or more of, a, like, of an, of an enemy, he's gonna be, like, insane, like, recovering him, or recovering himself only once. Um, let's just say the start of the turn, that would be more helpful, so, again, at least, like, you know, kind of swap back and forth. But it's not gonna be, like, Ender 16, where you can swap back and forth, though. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, Nappa Raised from the Dead, they, <laughs> there you go, Nappa Raised from the Dead, Resurrected Warriors, boom. Boom, there you go. Big money, big money, no whammies. Yeah, you guys get that reference in the video. Okay, okay. Um, but yeah, though, um, Vegeta really is good, though. I mean, this guy, I'm glad, though, they barely didn't yet, like, I mean, the new category is gonna, again, they'll be better, a lot better with age, because, I mean, I mean, I mean, because right now it's kind of, like, I mean, but these units, like, the LRs are all good. Um, I think a lot of people are not gonna have them, though, but they really are good. Some of the units on here are okay. You could use a new Bojack, again, though, Dr. Press Bojack and Gohan. Um, Gordon Fish is gonna be good. Again, these guys just got the EZA, so they're gonna be good. Great. Gonna be good. I mean, he's for Target Goku. I mean, some of these guys are on Target Goku anyway, so, um, yeah, I mean, yeah, have, have these guys on Target Goku, so you can kind of build up with that, though. Did they? I know, they was, I know, because Vegeta specifically did Target Goku, though. Should they be on Target Goku category when I think about it? Cause yeah, because Nappa wanted, yeah, Nappa wanted to, he, he went after Goku and Vegeta just wanted to fight Goku the whole time. They should be on Target, Kata, Target Goku. Cause they basically went to Earth and stuff like that, like to really go up against Goku and stuff like that. Cause like they never really go go to Earth. I mean, they went to Earth to just like destroy stuff like that. But still, like overall and stuff like that though. But um, yeah, it's all different ones. Let's say again though, the Vegeta that's swapping into Nappa is good. Like Vegeta overall himself by himself, he really is good. And of course, Vegeta and Nappa are great as well. Um, but yeah though, of course, I'm glad we did get Nappa and a new category, which is pretty good. Again though, JP did go into mains and stuff like that. It's kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, overall, they really are good though. But yeah, that's all we're gonna go with today. Sorry the video went on longer than expected. There's just so much crap we need to go for CS. See you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Great life. All right, cool job. See you guys later though. Peace out.